coming off a weekend of impassioned protests after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade. It's clear that a new battle over reproductive rights is really just getting started. At 5.30, Paula Tutman showed us what's next for pro-choice groups who want reproductive rights codified into U.S. law. Paula's back to show us how their strategy is different from those who oppose abortion. Anti-abortion advocates say that overturning Roe v. Wade on Friday was not the end. It was just the beginning for them. While there is certainly a celebratory tone Friday when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, ending a woman's constitutional right to an abortion, this is just the first fight to end most all legalized abortion for women in the state of Michigan, according to the legislative director for Right to Life Michigan. Stay tuned. There's a lot going on. Uh, we hope that Michigan will eventually uh, be an abortion-free state and join some of the other states that are extending legal protection to those unborn babies. Anti-abortion advocates have been playing that long game for 50 years and with a conservative majority on the high court, they now have their eyes set on state law. We have three fronts that we are currently working on. First and foremost is to defeat the two lawsuits, one filed by Planned Parenthood and one filed by the governor. Right to Life of Michigan has filed to intervene in both of those cases. Second is to defeat the uh, what we call the Anything Goes Abortion Amendment, the RFFA. They're out in the field gathering signatures. If they get their signatures, uh, we will have to work to defeat it on the ballot in November. And then the third front, of course, is the are the elections. Uh, if we don't defeat the governor and keep control of the House and the Senate, it'll be game over. Earlier today, physicians from the Committee to Protect Healthcare discussed the real world implications for women who, for a variety of reasons, make the difficult choice to terminate a pregnancy. The youngest pregnant patient I've cared for was nine. And, you know, for that patient, for a 12 year old, for anybody, for anybody who doesn't want to be pregnant, the effort it takes to get out of state, if they're in a state where they can't access that care, is devastating. Battle lines are being drawn on both sides, and the fight will continue at the ballot box. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Coming up on NBC Nightly News, investigating crisis pregnancy centers. They're all over the country providing free services like ultrasounds and STD testing. NBC News sent two producers into centers to ask for pregnancy counseling, what they were told ahead at 630.